Spencer Lewis here for Inside Track TV. We're at the Sunset Speedway Velocity event, talking with 13-year-old mini stock competitor, the astronaut, Brandon McFerrin. And uh, Brandon racing at a Flamborough Speedway with uh, sporadic appearances up here at Sunset. 2012 has definitely been a breakout season for you. Tell me all about your year so far. Oh yeah, for sure. It's been a phenomenal season for us. Uh, we started out the year with our old car, which we bought uh, two years ago, and uh, it was a good car. I mean, uh, it was fast. The, uh, um, we come here, we got, I think it was a top five, and the next time we come back was with our new car, and uh, we won actually with uh, the third race out with the new car. And, Ever, ever since then, I haven't stopped winning here at Flambro. I got four wins with the new car, so it's working real good for us this year. Since you debuted your new ride, it certainly seems as though you've really hit your stride in the mini stock division now. Uh, is there a way that you can explain how radically different your new chassis is compared to the car that started the season? Uh, it's huge. Uh, it's a lot more stiffer, so the car doesn't roll over as much. Uh, it's, it's, it's such a cool feeling to see how much of a different it is, difference it is to jump around from car to car. Does your new car suit your driving style better than what you were in before? Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, it's, I mean, I couldn't ask for much more. Beth Thing built me a phenomenal car and it's, I love it. Now, you're, you're, you identify as a Flamborough regular, but you actually had your first ever feature win up here at Sunset. I mean, that, that had to be a huge, huge moment for you. Uh, it was huge, actually. Uh, felt so good to get that feature win. I don't think uh, I'll ever feel that uh, good again, but um, it just it was such a cool feeling to get my first feature win here. Now, the way that you and your family have run your program has been phenomenal. You've, you've been surrounded with, uh, with good people and, and good mentors no matter where you go. Uh, what's some of the best advice you've been given this season? Uh, driver needs to keep his head, and uh, just patience is uh, what's going to get you to the front. Now, i got to say, I, I've noticed the for sale sign on that race yeah. car. I mean, brand new chassis, for sale signs on it. It's a proven winner, but uh, if the car sells, then where does that leave Brandon McFerrin for 2013? Well, yeah, the car is for sale. I think there's, going into this race, there'll be 13 races on it. Uh, we're definitely going to try something new, faster, uh, see where that brings us. Now, that the season's winding down here. I know that uh, you have never been afraid to sort of step out of your comfort zone and, uh, and take to some invitationals. After the Velocity event, is there anywhere that your fans will be able to see you? Well, our next race will be at Flamborough Speedway next weekend for the Saturday and Sunday deal October, for the Oktoberfest Classic. Uh, and then after that, it'll be Autumn Colors. Can't wait for that one. Now, I know that none of this is possible without having the proper uh, financial backing and sponsorship support, so go ahead and yeah. thank the people that got you to the dance. Uh, I'd like to thank Peter D. Laird, uh, Meisner Construction, East End Car Wash, um, Road Ranger, uh, Steve Laking, I uh, can't thank Pepper Drink for building that car, my mom and dad. It's everybody that helps me out, it's huge. Now I gotta ask final question before we wrap up. Uh, you've come up uh, through the go-kart ranks and, and into mini stock. Is there any way to, to really compare the two divisions when it comes to driver development? Which uh, one's better? Definitely, it's mini stock's a lot better. Like, it's, it's, it's so fun, it's competitive. Go-karts, I wasn't too competitive because I just, it wasn't my thing, I guess. Are you able to learn more inside of a full-bodied race car than you can in a go-kart? I actually say I learned a few things in go-karts to be smooth. Ask any go-karter here, they're probably one of the smoothest drivers here. Uh, you learn a lot actually coming up from go-karts, but uh, definitely you learn a lot more in a full-size car. Brandon, you're an exciting young man to watch. I think you're going to be around for, for a minute now. and. Uh, we love having you up here. Best of luck the rest of the way, and thanks so much for taking the time. Yeah, thanks, Spencer. There you go, folks. He's only 13 years of age. It's the astronaut, Brandon McFerrin.